Hi, and welcome to the Jelvix channel. Today's radar zooms in on the nuances of the developer roles. And you might be wondering about the differences between software and web development for your future career as a hiring manager, or simply as an enthusiast trying to better understand the vast development landscape. The fact is, the developer ecosystem is complex and varied. But don't worry, we're here to help you out. Our Jellix team has worked meticulously to create a comprehensive map of all developer positions hierarchy, with all you ever need to know, from the role's responsibilities and challenges to a salary range. In this video, we'll review how various developer positions differ from each other, the responsibilities they encompass, the skills and competencies required for each of them, and finally, their potential in terms of market predictions and career opportunities. So, let's get started. We are Jelvix, a software development partner for industry leaders. We post weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe. And make sure to watch the video till the end to learn the top three developer myths, busted by Jelvix teammates. Seeing the terms, you might think, what's the complexity? You'd say a software developer creates software and a web developer handles web-related tasks. Well, in reality, it's more intricate than that. Let's start off with the development part. Both software and web developers do much more than just development. Their responsibilities also include analyzing project requirements, design, coding, testing, debugging, deployment, maintenance, keeping and updating documentation, and stakeholder alignment with the project's progress. And when it comes to the software part, the complexity is even greater, since software can refer to a wide spectrum of solutions ranging from social media platforms and games to smart medical devices to NASA projects. Therefore, software developer is a broad term encompassing a variety of other more specific roles within the development landscape, such as a web developer, mobile app developer, game developer, embedded systems developer, desktop developer, DevOps engineer, machine learning engineer, security engineer, data scientist, quality assurance specialist, mainframe developer, smart TV developer, and system developer. These roles can be broken down further based on developer specialties, specific platforms they develop for, or the scope of work they perform. Now, if that seems like a lot, well, it is. But the Jelvix team loves the challenge, and we enjoy breaking things down for you. Obviously, each of these roles comes with a different tech stack. Zooming in on web developers versus other software specialists, the closest tech stack to them is smart TV development, since both involve creating apps for user interfaces. The tech stack is a top consideration before starting any developer career path. It can also help you better analyze the complexity of the position you seek. Speaking of complexity, some developer roles necessitate a deeper understanding of complex systems and technologies. For example, the DevOps role demands expertise in infrastructure automation, CI CD pipelines, and cloud technologies, while data scientists analyze complex data sets. Machine learning engineers deploy scalable AI models using advanced algorithms, security engineers address complex cyber threats, and system developers design intricate software systems. Such expertise levels are mirrored in the required experience, with advanced roles needing an additional year of seniority. However, the difference is also evident in the salary range. The annual salary of medium complexity positions like web developer ranges between $55,000 and $70,000 on the lower end. Meanwhile, more advanced roles start from $75,000 and reach up to a whopping $170,000. That's like the cost of an entire house every year. Now, with many role-related aspects already covered, the question remains, how can you identify a perfect fit developer position or a candidate for it? Jelvix has the answer. First, front-end web developers are all about visually engaging interfaces, hence requiring extra creativity, design sense, and the art of creating frictionless experiences across platforms. Back-end web developers, in turn, must be armed with analytical thinking to build robust and scalable systems. Full-stack developers, while bridging these domains, require high versatility and problem-solving powers to navigate the complexities of balancing various development tasks. Now, these requirements vary widely among other software developer roles. For example, mobile app developers' key goal is easy user navigation and intuitive experiences across all devices, which requires adaptability and a proactive problem-solving attitude. Meanwhile, embedded systems developers are required to have a deep understanding of hardware components and microcontrollers, possessing strong troubleshooting abilities to diagnose and resolve system issues. Quality assurance is a totally different case too, with their skill set centered around testing methodologies, meticulous attention to detail, and effective stakeholder collaboration to meet high quality product standards. Now let's get to the fun part, busting the most common development myths. Let's start with the myth that web development is easy. In fact, building professional websites and web applications requires a combination of technical skills, creativity, problem solving abilities, and attention to detail. Mastering them all takes time, practice, and dedication, which at times is not easy at all. The second myth is that becoming a web or software developer requires a computer science degree. While a computer science degree can certainly be beneficial, it's not a strict requirement. And on top of that, many developers are actually self-taught. Another myth is that software and web developers work alone. 
Contrary to popular belief, development is often a collaborative effort, with the active involvement of other developers, designers, project managers, and other stakeholders to build and maintain software solutions. Well, that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if so, support us by liking it and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye-bye.